Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. You guys can tell I'm excited, and whenever I have my Wacom pen out, it is something exciting, right? Now, a month ago, I put out a skin tone lot, and you guys loved it. A lot of people reached out to me, and if you haven't checked it out, you should definitely check it out. I'll put a link up here on the left. Yes, I'll put, yeah, I'll put a link up here. So you guys should definitely check that out. People reached out to me, thought it was amazing, but they said, look, it's just from medium to dark skin tone people. We need something we can use for light skin tones too. So I spoke to a friend of mine in the UK, Amanda Akokia. She's an amazing photographer in, in London, Manchester. You guys should definitely check out. I'll pull um, a link to her page in the description below. And she said, okay, you know, I'm going to send you these images, use them, and let me know what you think. So I created this amazing skin tone lot for light skin people. And I'm really excited because, you know what? Let's just get into Photoshop and I'll show you guys how it works. So now in Photoshop, we have this image right here and she's a really beautiful model, right? It's It's been retouched by the photographer who wants the images, Amanda Kokia. It's been retouched and it looks amazing, right? Now we want to take this from where it is to the next level. And most times it'll probably take you a couple more minutes or, you know, a lot more than that to color grade the images. But let me show you how these skin tone lots work. Now, when you download the skin tone lots, it's going to probably be in your downloads folder. So you can move it from your downloads folder you just unzip it and move to your document or wherever you want to put it and just look for it so now you just go to color lookup and color lookup load 3d lot and let's just look at the first one so i'm just going to load the first one click okay mine is in my document so as you guys can see it's right here so click the first one which is msl1 which is mason skin tone lot one right okay and Boom, you guys can see. It looks amazing. Look at all the freckles on, on her face. Another thing about this lot is there's some here that actually just bring out a lot more texture and just makes your images look sharper overall. Now, I'm not saying you should put out the image the way it is. The amazing thing about it is that you can just dial down the opacity to what you want. So somewhere around 74 just looks really, really nice for this image. You can go all the way to 100. It just looks nice. Look at her freckles, look at everything. Look at her eyes, like her pupils. Look at everything popping out. That's just the amazing thing about this lot. They just make your images stand out a lot more. So let's go to MSL2 and click OK. This one is cool, really subtle, but um, as you guys can see, still brings a lot of contrast into the image and she just looks her freckles everything is standing out let's let's pick something else um let's see what three looks like i don't know three is um warm nice see before after everything has this nice contrast to it like it just it just looks a lot better than the first image right let's just move to another image here and try it so this is another beautiful model. We'll go to color lookup, load 3D lots. And what should we try? Seven? Whoosh. That's beautiful. <laughs> Let's try it and see what it looks like. Ooh, now she looks lighter and oh, like you, you guys need to try these lots out. They just look amazing. So this is what nine looks like. Now, these are for people that are really, really light skin. What about people that are not this light skin, right? So we have, um, yes, so we have these models here. Let's, let's look at them. They look amazing. Now, there's a lot here. I think that's like four. So when you click four, what it does is that it cools down any image that is really, really warm. So like I said, this is basically for the skin tone. So don't worry, I'll show you guys how to take it out of the hair um and you can leave it like it just looks really good like this right so let's try um let's see what five looks like because i think oh it just looks really good look at that Th look at the before and the after let's see what six looks like now i'm not saying this lots will work oh that looks great that looks really good now i'm not saying this lots will work perfectly for every image sometimes you probably have to dial the opacity down um and um, like this image right now, the, the one is not going to work. It just looks too much. It can still work. You can, you know, come down to your blend options and just take it out. So our old options and just really take it out of my, um, what do you call it? My shadows. Just take it out of my shadows, 
click OK and probably reduce my opacity. And that's how it looks. You know, it still has like a little more contrast. But I don't think that it's, it's not going to work for every image. So you just, that's why there are 10, 10 lots. You just have to pick the one that works perfectly for you. Yes, I'm excited because I'm sharing something I've put a lot of work into you know, for you guys, yeah. And the, 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 whole, the whole idea is that it just makes your work process a lot simpler and it makes your images better. So I think for people that look like this, um, this skin color, I'll probably stick to five and six perfectly and maybe four and maybe three. Yeah, three looks good. It's a little bit contrasty. Let's see what four looks like. Four looks really good. Um, five looks amazing. And yeah, that's about it. You guys should definitely check it out. If you shoot people that are light skin toned, um, let's try this image. Mm, color look up. Let's see. Let's just throw five on there. Whoosh. That's what I'm talking about. This is color grading. Yeah. So you guys should definitely check it out. And if you shoot medium to dark skin toned people, you haven't checked out the first one, like I said, check that out. You shoot light skinned people. Check this out. It, it, it really doesn't matter if you shoot medium to dark skin tone people, light skin. Don't worry. We got you covered here. Just go check out the skin tone lots and, and I'm pretty sure you love them. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. And always remember that every time you buy something off my digital store, you are actually helping me and the channel to grow and I can make more YouTube videos for you guys. A lot of things are coming, reviews, everything. It's coming and more videos more tutorials more of everything thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing amazing day week month and the rest of the year merry christmas in advance too peace